I'm making soap. Just do my voiceover from over there. <laughs> my channel is over 100 subscribers. That was my very first YouTube goal and you guys helped me achieve that. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to this channel, who's here, who watches on a regular basis. I love you guys and I could not continue on this whole YouTube journey, I hate that word, without you guys. So as I promised, there was a drawing this morning and I will insert the name spin here. So you should put the little name spin thingy right here. Yep. Okay. Nico won. And Nico's actually a friend of mine who has his own channel here on YouTube called Divine Artistry and Effects. You can also follow him on Instagram and on his Facebook page. And I'll insert that information here as well. And so he gets this. Okay. He gets his very own set of these pillows and a bar of the soap that I'll be making in the video you're about to watch. So thank you guys again so, so much. Please enjoy the video. I'm gonna make soap today. A little nervous. We did the lie two days ago. So like the hard part's over, I think. Like the scary part at least is over. David's off camera, so that's why I keep looking that way. I fell down a soaping rabbit hole by watching royalty soaps on YouTube. And then I found out that everybody in the house wants to make soap. So, that's fun. While I was watching royalty soaps, and um, Katie Carson is freaking amazing. I love her, she's insane and I love it. She reminds me of when me and Becky get together, so it was just really fun watching her. But she has a, like video series on there called the Royal Creative Academy, where she basically breaks down the cold process soap making process. And it's actually like not as difficult when, the, when she explains it the way she's explaining it. So as long as I do everything correctly, it should turn out just fine. So we did all of the mandatory reading. We understand what a lie calculator is and what water discounting is and all of the like different terms um, for soap making so that should be fun and she provides us with like a really easy to follow cool recipe I'm going to be following her specific video tutorial off camera just to make sure that I do everything right since it is the very first time I will be cutting in and out of that for copyright reasons, it will not be showing her video, but um, I will be following it off camera. After going over all of the materials that you need in her first video, the second video is about lie safety. So we went ahead and followed all of the lie safety protocols and made lie the other day. So it was really, really easy. We used 75% ice to 25% water and we got absolutely no chemical cloud from that mixture. It did still heat up pretty warm. We didn't actually test the temperature. Um, it was something we thought today, oh, it would've been cool to know exactly how hot it got. First one I'm following exactly to her specifications with the exception of the topping because I wanna make it more of a Halloween style soap. So I've done my research there and we'll get to that point then. I'm going to go ahead and prep the oils now. So, coconut oil is 210. But see, mine's not, I don't think mine's gonna be liquidy like hers because it's not, it's not warm in here, it's cool in here. So, she says if it's not melty, to put it in the microwave at 30 second bursts until it's runny and clear. No, not the whole thing. Okay, so I'm gonna measure out 210 grams of coconut oil. What? I just want to be like one of those kids on uh, one of 
one of those like science shows, Mr. Wizard. I loved Mr. Wizard when I was a kid. I remember if I couldn't sleep, I'd wake up and I'd go downstairs and Mr. Wizard would be on at like 2 a.m. all the reruns. And I'm like, what adult is watching Mr. Wizard at 2 a.m.? Because <laughs> kids are supposed to be asleep. It's not. It's for kids with insomnia. No, you've gone way over. <laughs> oh, no. Not way over. Two grams over. Gone two grams over. So I'll pull two grams out. That's enough for a s'more. It'll be fine. <laughs> really? That little dollop is one gram? <sighs> How are you so familiar with grams? Okay, so because it's solid, we're supposed to put it in the microwave for 30 second bursts until it gets runny and clear. You don't want it to be cloudy at all. While that's in the microwave, I'm being super duper loud. Um, I'm not going to go over all of the different materials and stuff that you need. This is purely for your entertainment value to watch me mess this up. If you want to know all the materials you need, all the safety stuff you need, I will link the videos for the Royal Creative Academy on royalty soaps down below. Um, if this is something that you're interested in doing on your own, I am, this is literally the very first time I'm doing this. So I am not going to walk you through like I know what the heck I'm doing. I am following along as you watch this. Let me see, there's a little chunk in there. I wonder if it'll go away. Go away! Yay, it's gone! So the coconut oil is nice and clear and runny again. Looks like popcorn butter now. It does. So I pulled this one off because she's telling me that I'm bad at pouring. Um, so <laughs> I'm gonna measure the olive oil separately in case I go really far over um, because once I pour it in with the other oil, I can't pull it back out, obviously. So we're using the same olive oil she uses because I didn't want to chance it. Um, what? You gotta tear the skin. Oh, thank you. I almost messed up. See, again, you're watching me so I can mess this up. So this is 787 grams. Okay, this is a lot of oil. <laughs> but I mean, I guess we're making a lot of soap. I don't know. It just seems like the container for the soap is so much smaller than this. Slow down, slow down. I'm not, I still have 100 to go. She knew it. She knew I was bad at this. I poured way too much. Oh no, I'm dripping. This is why I got a paper towel ready. 785, dude, I'm so close. A gram is tiny, so I only need like a little drip. That did nothing. Stop, you made me go over. Seriously. Stop making sound effects. <laughs> 786. Again. I'm so close. Oh, I bumped it. Now it says 787 because I bumped it. Okay, 787. Done. Should we stir it while it goes in or? Nope, just right. pour it in. I feel like it's going to cool that. I thought so too, but she didn't mention any of that. Okay. So. I mean, it's certainly gonna thicken up. Yeah, but that's kind of what you want, right? Yeah. So you fling oil everywhere. This spatula sucks. Okay. The spatula's really floppy. Maybe next time we won't get a Dollar Tree spatula. Yeah, splurge, get that Target spatula. She said don't buy an expensive spatula, so I was like, okay, I'll buy a Dollar Tree spatula. Should have gone for a little better than Dollar Tree. We sprung for the fancy recipe, and I'm adding castor oil because apparently this makes bubbles. And that's my favorite part of soap, is the bubbles. You can also make ricin with it. Isn't that a poison? Yeah. This is really thick. I didn't expect it to be so thick. It's like, um, oh, right there, right it's there. like corn syrup. Oh, I went too far. Oh. Went really you can't too far. you can't pour that back in because now it's got all the oh you're right cross contamination Damn station it. okay so now I gotta scrape this one in too and then we'll see what Katie says to do castor oil looks delicious no it's not corn syrup it just looks like corn syrup 
I ordered at Katie's behest this beautiful little packet from Mad Micas. It is the Royal Beginner Micas like packet. And I did get the upgraded version, which means it came with a like hollow glitter and a gold mica also, but everything is like pre-measured to make the first few batches. So that's exciting. And uh, the color I'm gonna do is Tequila Sunrise, which is the same color she has in her video. And because this is all one color, I'm supposed to be able just to add it straight to the oil. So I'm gonna do that now. One ounce. No, I got the beginner upgrade, so I have two <clears throat> ounces. No, she said one ounce. But she said if you have the beginner upgrade, you put two. Oh, okay, then that. Sorry. I'm an upgrader. I got two. That feels like so much. It does. I bet these are recyclable. They are. No, don't pretend to drink it on camera. Okay, I set a bad example just now, guys. So I probably should have been wearing these the whole time, even though my argument was that I was just using regular oils. But then I had to put them on with like color and stuff all over my gloves. So maybe next time I'll just wear them the whole time. want to talk during that because that's the part that freaks me out the most but um, because this doesn't come apart and I didn't want to take it out I David helped me pour the lye solution and he poured really slowly by pouring it down the stick blender which is supposed to help keep it from splashing um, and then as soon as you're done you put the lid right back on just in case anything falls you don't want lye water splashing everywhere I'm helping <laughs> You are though, you're keeping me sane. Okay, so I think this is the part where I mix. pour into the mold and she had me mark the mold with little lines so that after it's already cured I can cut it and just like makes makes it easier to like figure out where my bar shapes are so this is the nerve-wracking part I'm gonna pour it now drop a soap in there that you can get out. Uh, if yours doesn't make motorcycle noises as you're scraping it, that's, that's fine. <laughs> and you only got one little drip, look! Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, there's some on the outside. <gasps> Is there really? There's one little tiny one on the, no. on the table. Oh, but it's not on the outside of the mold. You've ruined it. Start over. <sighs> Dang it! <laughs> I'm not gonna start over. That's not too bad. It's all jiggly. Woo woo woo. Okay, what, is, what happens next? I think we just let it be. Apparently I now have to wait an hour. I'm very bad at waiting. So it's like super liquidy. Like if I move it, you can probably see it jiggle from there. But it's like really liquidy. So in order to texturize the top of it, like to do anything fun, I need to wait until it sets up a little bit. So I think I'm going to take this opportunity to just clean up my mess and I'll see you guys in an hour when I do the fun stuff. Okay, it's been 
almost an hour since I left this. I have come back to check on it a few times and I noticed that this side was drying and this side wasn't. And then I realized there's an AC vent right here. So I closed that and it doesn't seem to have really affected it. It's just kind of, it had like a layer of soap that was a lot cooler than the rest of it. Um, but it's not wiggling anymore when I move it. So I think it's about ready to be textured. And I'm not gonna do a lot. I mean, what she shows me in the video to do is very, very simple. And because we wanted to do this as like a Halloween soap, I do have some little rainbow nacrels and some little like gummy bear shapes. Um, because my thought for this orange soap is like the candy bucket, like the uh, jack-o'-lantern candy bucket that we like all had as kids to carry around um, and so I wanted something on top that kind of represented candy and this smell smells like just like when that bucket is full of candy that just like fruity starbursty gummy smell is what this reminds me of um, and it smells amazing so I'm just gonna mess up the top a little bit so it's not so smooth um, and then probably just do some sprinkles down the middle so we'll see this is the creative part so this is the part that I'm most excited about but it's also the part that like makes me really nervous because like once I start doing it I can't go back to what it looks like now and right now it looks really good so cross your fingers for me but here we go a little container with a spout I don't remember where this came from but it's clean so I'm just gonna do a little bit of sprinkles kind of on the top area Let's see. I'm trying to avoid getting it in the little side divots that I did and then let me see I'm just gonna put a little bit more down here Okay, now I'm gonna sprinkle the gummy bears on. Gummy bears are my absolute favorite candy. So I'm excited for this. I, I'm i just overloading this with the little gummy bears because I want it to look like an explosion of candy is coming out of the bucket. I mean, who wants a Halloween bucket that's only got like three pieces of candy in it. Okay, I think it's done. It looks really cute and colorful on top. Let me see if I can show you. Here is an up close shot of it. It's super, super cute and colorful and I love it. I'm excited. The hard part though is now I have to wait three days to come back and actually cut this into bars. So, I'm gonna go put it away somewhere safe and we'll come back in three days and cut it. It's been three days, so today we get to cut the soap and I'm looking at it right now and it's super cute. So I will show you, it held up really, really well. It's so freaking cute, I love it so much. And <sighs> I'm a little nervous at this point. I think I've said that through like all the processes of making the soap, but I think this is the most nerve wracking for me. There's this one spot here in these two little pockets that I don't know what that is. So I'm worried it might be like lie, and if it is, then this entire loaf is shot. But if it's not, then we should be okay. So I'm going to attempt to get this out and I'm really scared. <laughs> I knew some of these were gonna fall off, but that's why I put so many of them on there. So, uh, come out. This is supposed to slide right out. It's not. Oh, 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 it's moving. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
So when David and I got this mold from Amazon, we noticed that it didn't have holes in the bottom. So you can see it's a solid piece of wood. And I got the top, you just get the bottom. So we were worried about suction and it feels like that's what's happened. Yeah, you can hear it. It's like, oh, so yeah, we're going to have to drill holes in the bottom of that to avoid the suction. <laughs> um, okay. So this is coming off really, really easily. I didn't mean right this minute while I was talking. Mad action. Easy. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna peel the mold off and pop it out. So I'm supposed to be able to just push on it. Again, supposed to be able to. We'll see. I feel like I'm ruining the soap. Oh, okay, it was just the corner. It's not sticky at all, so that's good. That means that it did sit long enough, according to what I read. Listen to me, I sound like, a, like I know what I'm talking about. Okay. So, it's so cute! I'm loving this, it's so cute. Okay. This is the fun part, because we get to cut it now. And, um, Katie says, I say Katie, like I, like I know her personally, I wish I did. But it is mentioned that um, you can cut it with a knife and a ruler to make sure that your lines are straight, or you can upgrade to a cheese board, which is what I've done. I've put some little marks here to indicate the one inch from the blade area, and I'm going to attempt to cut it. Okay, I'm just gonna line it up with some of my lines, and then just slice it. Oh, it looks good. Honey, I don't know what that was, but it it's not lie. Because there's no seeping or anything. For the next bars though, I'm going to turn it on its side to cut it so that I don't get these drag marks from the sprinkles. But it's super cute. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna turn it this way with the sprinkles towards me. Much better, look how much better that one is. It's so cute. Okay, I'm just going to cut the rest of these up. because that one doesn't need the fun that we are going to add. My friend Courtney made me this cute little 3D printed pumpkin jack-o'-lantern shape and I'm going to attempt, keyword, attempt, to stamp it into the side of one of these bars. Stamp sound effect. So that's what it looks like. There's all the candy inside the little bucket. And this really smells like that, you know, like the Skittles and the Starburst. Sweetheart smell leaves. Sweethearts, yes, that's what it smells like. I am so thrilled with how these turned out. They are so freaking cute. I love them all. The little jack-o'-lantern face on them really just brings it all home. And I love the way that it turned out. So excited, can't 
wait to get these out to you guys if you want any of these bars please let me know so these do have to cure for between four to six weeks which means they'll be ready just in time for Halloween and by the time you are seeing this video these bars are ready to go. Thank you for watching me make my very first batch of cold process soap. I really thought I was gonna bomb this and that it was going to turn out terribly. Again, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and so much for supporting this channel. And I really, really do appreciate you guys being subscribed and liking this channel. This is the first big holiday season or the videos that I've posted to this channel. And the overwhelming response to them has been amazing and I appreciate each and every one of you for liking the videos and commenting on them and just being here overall so that I can share my life with you essentially. Please comment down below in this video and let me know if you want to see me attempt other craft things that I've never attempted before. Who knows, maybe I'll actually mess something up next time. But again, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!